Who's half man, half woman? It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the teeth. Mm-mm, it's Gary, baby. All right, y'all, it's the morning show. Gary has the tea and the clue of the day brought to you by... Whether you rent or own, Geico makes it easy to bundle home and car insurance. Having a home is hard work, so get a quote at geico.com. Easy. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood, y'all. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Y'all all know Nora Loom, right? If y'all don't, let me tell y'all who Miss Nora Loom is. She's also known as Aqua. Fina, y'all. Fina made it the announcement that she is quitting Twitter, y'all. She said, because all you people are dragging her through the mud, y'all. Now, if y'all don't recall, that Aquafina was nominated, y'all, for NAACP award. And they're saying, y'all, that Aquafina, after years of criticism for clout chasing, y'all, with a caricature based on black stereotypes, accused appropriate. They're saying, y'all, that Aquafina addressed the issue, y'all, heading on, you know, that she said, I'm, I'm going to quit Twitter, y'all. She said, you know, they're saying that she's on that, um, they call it a black tool, y'all, with Tandy Hughes. T- 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 how do you say her name? T- Tandy. Tandy, Tandy Newton. Newton. Tandy Newton, Joe Rogan, y'all, the Rock Hunter. They said they all on this tour, y'all, just in time for Aqua, for Black History Month. Now, I don't know her, but, I mean, I reported it before. They were saying, you know, that a lot of people got so upset because they said she, you know, kind of, I mean, mimicked black people and say all kind of racial things. And they said this is how she got her career started now somebody said it's not complicated or multi they say but it's really quite straightforward that aquafina has been using a racialized troop y'all regarding black speech to advance her career now they're saying that she's appropriate appropriated and rationalized black people for her sense and they say she made it and has moved on and they say it's anti-black and people have said what well, do y'all know a black me? woman no she chinese ricky oh yeah, she's a Chinese woman, honey. She's Miss Aquafina, honey. But her real name is Nora Loom, y'all. And a lot of people are upset about it, y'all. They're saying, you know, that, you know, she rode on black folks' back and stuff and what have you. And now, honey, she didn't make it. And it's almost like, you know, she turned her back on them in so many words. They said, all the while having historically and uh, routinely seen their cultural stolen, their culture stolen, exploited and appropriated, y'all, by the dominant culture for monetary gain without acknowledgement nor respect for where those rules come from. They're saying that the pioneer of its beginnings and the artist that perfected and mastered the craft, honey, you know, she, she she's just going up, but she's upset about it. But should she not win an NAACP award? I mean, in that for the, the National Advancement, the National Association of Advancement of Colored People, I mean, would um, European people or Chinese people be colored people? No. Oh, they not? Yes, no. they are colored I people so. also. But he the frustration, European. Gary, no. is the fact that she uses the stereotype. So I don't think it's just her um, infatuation with our culture. It's the fact that she's infatuated with the negative ideas of our culture. And that is what has made her famous. And so that's where people are upset about because she's actually a really good actress. Yeah. Well, but people ever didn't like her or something, honey. I mean, she made it this far and she's being nominated for NAACP award. I mean, so I don't know, but I don't know. It's Black History Month, y'all, so y'all, we just we got, we got, <laughs> It is, Gary. <laughs> so we got a lot of stuff on this going on with Black History Month, y'all, and a lot of people are upset and with certain um, actors and actresses, like Miss um, Tandy Newton, y'all. They're saying that Miss Tandy Newton, they say she burst into biracial tears, y'all, during the interview the other day. So she was um, apologizing to darker-skinned women for taking their roles and their men, honey. She said, you know, she did what she had to do. She said, you know, that she burst into tears, y'all, during a non-viral interview, um, with the Associated Press, y'all, where she apologized, y'all, to darker skin actresses for taking their roles and men, you know, and they said, now, she's been married to a white man since 1998. Now, Miss Sandy Houston, she plays a, uh, a woman, y'all, that's confronting white hunters in this new film called God's Country. And they said she's um, struggled with a different type of prejudice in the U.S. as a light-skinned black British woman. And we've always known Tandy for being a black woman. You know, Always. But, you know, but I guess she's biracial or what have you, but she's apologizing. I mean, and they said this is a good thing that she's doing this during Black History Month. They said because in Hollywood, you know, darker skinned actresses were always passed over, y'all, for coveted roles. And she said, quote, it's been very painful to have women who look like my mom feel like I'm not representing them. She said that, she said, I'm taking from them. She said, taking their men, taking their work, taking their truth. She said, you know, she had tears in her eyes because this woman was crying because she was apologizing apologizing to darker skinned women uh, uh, regarding this situation and stuff during Black History Month. But is, is it her fault or the people that's in casting? That's, that's, that's the thing. 
you know, oh, and God. and who's overlooking all of this stuff and seeing that there's a balance, a balance and a, rep- uh, a representation of all uh, ethnicities and skin tones and or whatever y- y- you want to call it, you know, uh, uh, in these roles. Ricky. Nobody was mad at Tandy Newton for nothing. The, the lady is the color that she is. She's in Hotel Rwanda. She was in Norbit. She was in For Color Girls. Like, the woman has played a black woman in everything she's done. So no one understands her apology because no one was upset. Well, what's the like, situation then? Well, why is she That's the question. That's the question. What is she talking about when she says taking your men as if she's not black too? Yeah. But did anybody say something to cause her? Nothing, to- Rick. No one said nothing. So she just came out and just started talking? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, well, she said she was the um, first dark-skinned woman in the lead role in Star Wars Legacy. You know, and she accepted. She was accepted as a black actress early in her career because of her lighter skin. She said that she should probably just let someone else address these issues. Because some people said that the internet, you know, honey, forgot that it was ever a slip-up, honey, or whatever. But nevertheless, and I love Tandy Houston. She was such a um, beautiful Newton. woman. She is. You know, but we just got to pray, y'all. It's Black History Month. So, y'all, let's continue to pray and you know, talk all these things out, honey, you know, so we could come to some type of conclusion at the end of the day. Did that make sense, Ricky? That make a lot of sense. I'm Thank with you. you. The Kahlua of the day, honey, is one of my favorite colours. My Kahlua of the day is tiger print. On the high end, you say tiger print. And on the low end, you say beautiful black and tan. That's your Kahlua for today.